Greetings from Army TV, where today we'll tell you about the Bulava Strike UAV from the Deviro company, about its technical capabilities and combat experience. Please tell us, what kind of product do we see in front of us? This is the Bulava. The Bulava is a loitering munition that operates as part of a system with the Laleka 100M2 reconnaissance aircraft. The Laleka 100M2 is a new generation of the well-known Laleka 100. The Laleka 100M2 is an aircraft that flies a bit farther, sees a bit better, and stays in the air a bit longer. Thanks to this, it identifies targets that the Bulava can strike. If we take all the information available from open sources online about the Bulava, the first thing it's compared to is, of course, the Lancet. Many say the phrase Ukrainian Lancet is spreading everywhere, although, in fact, this wing configuration isn't a Russian invention. It's not a Russian invention. This wing configuration is necessary if you want to quickly reach a target with a dive and control the aircraft in a way that makes it agile enough to operate against both moving and stationary targets. This is the only aerodynamic design you'd arrive at if you want to achieve the performance characteristics that the Bulava has. The warhead is located in the front part of the aircraft. It weighs 3.6 kilograms. As of when this interview airs, the Bulava's warhead range will exceed 10 types, but at the moment of this recording, it's around 10 or 11 different types. Depending on the tasks users face, they can choose the specific warhead type needed for their mission. The primary targets for this aircraft are enemy electronic warfare systems, air defense systems, and enemy UAV crews located far from the front line. Typically, this weight is sufficient to hit the targets I mentioned. There have been cases where the Bulava was used against armored vehicles and cases where it was used against self-propelled artillery systems. So, what can we say about its tactical technical characteristics? How far can it fly? How long? How effectively? There are two ways to understand how far this UAV can fly. If we operate without a reconnaissance relay aircraft, the range can be about 35 kilometers. But if we have an airborne relay with the Laleka 100M2 performing this function, the guaranteed range specified by the manufacturer is currently 55 kilometers from the launch point. In practice, it can be slightly more depending on weather conditions and how the crew employs the system. Typically, the Bulava system crew consists of three people managing everything in the air. One person controls the Laleka's payload, meaning the reconnaissance aircraft's camera. Another person manages the Bulava's component, responsible for the final exciting moment of hitting the target. Usually, the aircraft flies part of the route autonomously, then the operator is given the choice of target. The software is so simple that it takes just two or three clicks to select a target, press attack target, and confirm. After that, in the most basic scenario, the operator's work is done. At 3.5 to 3 kilometers from the target, thanks to this camera, you can easily turn, see, and confirm that it's the target you want to hit. You select, press, and no special skills are needed for the UAV operator to strike the target. The camera is high quality, with great direct imagery and an excellent picture when approaching the target. Is this because it needs high resolution to lock on? Is that why we don't cut costs by installing a cheaper FPV camera? There are several reasons for this. First, the camera is also movable. Thanks to its mobility, you can see the target from the angle you need. It rotates 360 degrees, so you can look backward or forward while selecting the target. Plus, the camera has a 25x optical zoom and a 4x digital zoom. Accordingly, from 3 to 3.5 kilometers, you can easily see the target, verify it, and begin the attack approach. 
It's not heavy, but you still need to accelerate it. And here's your proprietary designer super catapult. Yes, this is our latest generation catapult, constantly being upgraded. Does it actually shoot it out? Yes, it uses compressed air to directly propel the boulevard at launch. It gains the necessary speed to take off and then flies autonomously to strike the target. Azrael, you're the director of the Devero Training Center. You train pilots. How hard is it to master the Bulava? How long does it take? Let's divide this question into two categories of military personnel. The first are those who already have experience operating our previous products, the Leleka 100 and its further iteration, the Leleka 100 M2, which we see in front of us. For these soldiers, the training course will take a maximum of one week. This is because the Bulava Reconnaissance Strike System has highly intuitive and well-integrated software with the Leleka 100M2. So, for soldiers training specifically on the Bulava, about 70% of their training will already be familiar due to compatible software, making it easy for them to master. The system is very simple to use and train on. For soldiers with no prior training on the Leleka 100 or 100 M2 unmanned aviation systems, the time will be longer. They first need to train on the Leleka and familiarize themselves with its software. What's very important is flight training and its aircraft-style landing method. This is, on one hand, the safest landing method, but it requires a significant knowledge base. Different weather conditions and limited takeoff and landing sites demand a broad range of skills to master the Leleka as a foundation. So, we first train on the Leleka, then move to the Bulava. On average, this takes about a month for a soldier. I was told you're mega specialists who fly the Leleka, and since you're experienced with it and have combat experience, learning to operate the Bulava can be done easily in a week. Is that true? Not a week, but a few days actually, but thanks to the guys for such a flattering review, yes, I've been working with the LECA unmanned aviation system for over three years now. We have extensive experience using wings and working with them, that's why we're participating in the Five Shots program created by the Lalika manufacturer, Deviro. After completing the training, we'll receive a mini Bulava system to operate at our base. Our company has proposed a program. What's its essence? It's called Five Shots. Any unit of the Ukrainian Armed Forces or Defense Forces specializing in unmanned systems, aircraft type or strike systems, can join this program. What's the point? We train the crew for free. Upon completing the training, we provide test equipment, including reconnaissance wings, a ground control station, and five free Bulava shots. After training, the soldiers go to combat conditions and can carry out their tasks with these systems. What's our goal? To scale this process, this technological breakthrough, because the reconnaissance strike segment is a driver of cutting-edge technologies. We want to develop and promote them for widespread use in the Ukrainian armed forces. So, let's cooperate and show the Russians what the Bulava is. For example, we've always been jealous of those who go for training because the key thing is, you get to go somewhere, live your life a bit, and learn something new. Are there any Leleka crews from your battalion right now that you're jealous of? No, actually, I asked the instructors to let us go back sooner because we want to work.